I am Lord Calbarger Geiler from Osprey. I'm the Southern Coast of Meridians, Companion of the Meridian Cross, Companion of the Argent Lamp Osprey, Reaper. Woo! And this is. Hi, I'm Oyoung Ying Zhao. I am in Endonhania in Meridians, which is northern Alabama. I have other things that I don't remember all of. So. Can't even cross. Can't even, the no, I don't know where to cross. I you cannot skip it? No, I am a companion of the Order of the Velvet Owl. Um, How did you skip Meridian Cross? That's impressive. I do not have a Meridian Cross. Um, I have the uh, North Shield equivalent because I started playing North Shield <laughs> years ago. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> but no, I do not have a Meridian Cross. That's okay. It's okay. We'll right? fix that. No, I'm fixing that. Hold on. Let me go right <laughs> there. Anyway. Um, Bow, lots of, th I don't know, things that don't matter because we're talking about Go today. Yay! <laughs> um, so thank you, Culper. Uh, I'm going to say your name wrong because I'm going to say your mon your modern name and I'm going to say your name. <laughs> well, well, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Cal, Cal, Cal Barter? Cal Barter? There you go. Cal Barter. Yay. Thank you so much for holding this oh. symposium. It's going to be so much fun. I'm super excited for it. Um, and thank you for letting me come and play. Um, I am going to talk really briefly about the game of Go. Um, we're, I'm coming at it from a Chinese, um, take on the, from a, the historical Chinese perspective. And in Chinese, it is Wei Qi. Um, but I'm going to say Go because that's what most people know it as. Um, so it, cause it, it's just better known by that name. Um, it is a territory control game. Um, played on a gridded board. This is a nine by nine board. This is a 13 by 13 board. Uh, standard boards are, well, standard now boards are 19 by 19. So it's played on a gridded board and you have stones. Um, total of 361 stones. They look like that. It's a white one. You have a black, black stones and white stones. They are, I don't know if you can see that. There's a term, con, con, convex, convex? on both sides, um, you're supposed to sort of hold them like that when you pop them on the board and they make a fun and satisfying sound when you do that. Um, so it's often called like, you know, the equivalent of like Western chess in East Asia. And it is and it isn't. So the stone, unlike Western chess, where, you know, the knight can only do these things and the rook can only do those things. There are no restrictions on the moves you can make with each stone. They can go anywhere. Um, so the combination of where you can go is pretty much infinite. You know, whereas chess, you know, there's a set number of the kinds of games you can play based on those those move restrictions. Um, during Tang Dynasty, which is the era that I am particularly interested in, um, your skill, because it is a game of of strategy and and skill um, in that sense your ability to play go was a measure of your sort of culturedness your your gentility um, for both men and women um, other measures were music painting calligraphy poetry um, but go was definitely one of them and unlike other games because go takes I say skill, but skill in a the context of Chinese games means something else. It takes brains, <laughs> it takes uh, mental acumen to play Go. Um, so it was set apart from games of chance, like double sixes or backgammon, or games of skill, like pitch pot, you know, which we'll be playing on Saturday. Where you throw the arrows into the pot, where it's a physical skill as opposed to a mental skill. So this was um, this was one of the measures of gentility. Whereas double sixes and pitch pot, eh, pitch pot, uh, that's a game. It's fun. Nobody cares. Yeah, you can play that game. Um, so being able to play Go and being able to play Go well made you a cooler noble <laughs> than not. Um, so the earliest reliable um, record we have of the game is from 548 BCE, which means that it is possibly the oldest game that has been continuously played, which is kind of awesome. Um, talked about the standard size Go, so like tournament Go, when you go on YouTube and you watch people play Go, it's usually on a 19 by 19 grid. Um, that grid size has, it's not always been 19 by 19 throughout history. So the earliest board that we have, um, which is a fragment, um, from 
about like two, you know, 150 ish BCE is 17 by 17. Um, so two more of those wards were found in other Eastern Han Dynasty tombs. Um, we saw 15 by 15 uh, boards in the Western Han Dynasty. Um, and then the earliest 19 by 19 um, is from the late sixth century. So, and there's another one from, from earlier in the Tang Dynasty um, from like the mid seventh century. So to play, and we're gonna play here in a second, um, and then I'm showing the nine by nine size because this, if you're gonna start playing, start on the nine by nine. It's a smaller board, so the games are quicker and you can kind of get the basic concepts down faster. I've put several links in um, the Facebook event to YouTube videos. The majority of them use a nine by nine to show different things. I'll also post a link to um, Board Game Arena, which is what we're using to play Go. There's also an app that you can get on, I have an, an Android, I think you can get it on both an Android and a, or I think you can also get it on iOS, um, where you can play Go against a computer on your phone. Um, like I said, to get really good at it, it takes time to to build that skill. Same thing with chess, you know, or other games that are strategy based in that sense. Um, so we take turns playing. And the biggest thing for me to have to kind of wrap my head around, and I'm still working on it, is that unlike chess or checkers, you're not concerned with the squares, you're concerned with the intersections. So um, when you when you place a stone, you want to make sure that that stone has what they call liberties. And basically, so if I place a stone here in the middle, whoop, can't hold it there. That stone has four liberties. It has four lines coming off of it. A stone on the side has fewer liberties. It only has three. Um, so you kind of think about those liberties as supply routes. And so long as it has at least one, it's alive. As soon as that supply route gets cut off, it's dead. Um, you are not, you don't get points for the number of stones you place on the board you get points for the number of intersections that you control or that you've surrounded by your stones. Um, in the Japanese scoring, you get points for the number of stones that you capture, and that's if you surround uh, your opponent's stones. Um, I am not an expert on Go. I kind of know how to play it. So, uh, like I said, I'm a new player. Um, so yeah, I think, the rest is just best explained actually playing it. So I'm gonna set my physical board down and we're gonna play, we're gonna play the real, the, the not the real, the, uh, the online one on Board Game Arena. So yeah, I'm gonna welcome, I'm gonna say his name, same time saying, call, call Barter, he wanna say your modern name. Hi, hey, come back, play games with me. <laughs> I'm here. Hey. You want to get the game going? No, I'll share I shared my screen. Yep. But, oh, yeah. Let me Names get that. Right yeah. There you go. So, like I said, we're using Board Game Arena, which you can, you know, join friends and play just with people that you know, or you can play with random people. Um, and so we selected the board size and all that, that, all that jazz. Oh, one thing I will say uh, Black always goes first. Black is, you know, and usually the, the weaker player um, chooses black. If people, if the players are of equal skill, they'll do a thing. And I don't know if this is a period practice or not, where um, someone will grab a bunch of stones out of the bag and the other person will say, you know, even or odd, and then they'll place them on, this, on, the, uh, on the board and that's how they decide who gets to go first. Um, there's also, because black always goes first, uh, white gets what's called a comey, which is a number of points automatically added to their score because it is um, not advantageous to go second. So, all right. You can see this here. Just like that, even all the planning we did, I'm still end up going first somehow. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll um, try to do worse for you, I'm sorry. It, no, it's fine. I'm going to go here. All right. So we are placing stones in an effort to sort of carve up the board and um, uh, give our territory. I do want to point out that the only 
connections that matter are vertical and horizontal. So, uh, or, or, orthogonal as they're called. Yes, thank you, orthogonal. Cole Barter has put these two stones right next to each other. They're connected, so they share supply lines. If I place a stone here, which is diagonal to the first stone I placed, they're not connected because you cannot connect on a diagonal. It doesn't exist. Um, again, it's one of those, like, think about them as intersections, not squares <laughs> kind of paradigm shifts. So let's see here. I'm going to go. Hey, Ouyang, hit the hide button on that bottom thing at the... Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. okay, so it's driving me nutter butters. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. The, the IT in me was going, click the thing. Click the thing. I see what you did there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad you saw it because I'm like, I'm just playing this now. Oh, and I got five points for the That's yeah. kind of thing. Okay, so, so you are trying to presumably block me off here so that I cannot keep carving this up. So he wants right. to bend, bend his territory this way. So if you kind of think about it, as you know, invisible lines running to the edge of the board. I was trying to cut them off in one lot more. So come back this way. Now, if he were to come here, he would put me in what's called Atari because he would be in a position where he could capture my stone and 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 take you know take it away from me and then you know obviously get a better a firm control on that uh, one intersection. It's a lot of investment for one point. So I am going to do that. Oops. There it goes. And that will prevent him from even thinking about doing that. I, I did. I thought about it too. <laughs> We're slowly getting better through through Herman's practice. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah. I would normally, I guess, like explain more about what I'm doing. So um, I went up here. What I lose. Yeah, I went, I made this move as opposed to coming down below because if I came, I mean, either one would work and this would have connected me up to these stones, but, and either way he could have put, you know, Carl, Carl, hello, Cal Barter could have put me in just, a hey, Cal, go with Cal, it yeah. works in Thank Cal. you so much better. Ah, my brain can handle Cal. So, um, oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, um, let's see here. Um, the person with the Asian persona is the one butchering names today. It's terrible. Oh, I don't have a persona, but anyway. Um, so okay, so this this group of stones only has three three uh, liberties. It has this one, this one, and this one. So um, because it, I lost this one. Now, given Cal's stone up here only has two liberties. Correct. So. I'm gonna, but if I put up here, I'm not actually connected because remember we're not connected on diagonals, but it definitely, I don't know what the best move is. Hmm. Do, 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 I know, right? Do, it's rough. Do, do. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay, so unlike a so here, let me pop this question up. So unlike a fellow, which really strong, very strong resemblance, capturing works differently. Do you want to handle that question, or should I? Um, you... I've not played a fellow, so oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> so you know what? Um, how about we capture a stone and show show what that looks like? Um, sure. I will. I will leave mine there to be captured. How about that? E nine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me have it. I'm going to eat it up. All right, so I'm going to capture 
this one, which normally I would need to do all the way around, but because it's on the edge, I'm basically just choking off its liberty. Oh, nope. It's not what I wanted to do. Nope. Yeah, there you go. So I have to it. And were we doing Japanese scoring, I would get a point for that, but I'm not. But I do get that point for that intersection there, right. which we don't tally until the end. But you yeah. think you get that point for the intersection? Moo ha ha ha. Yeah. So I've uh, Cal, have you played Othello? Do you know? I, I've not. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. I I've I know what Othello looks like, but I've never actually played it. Okay. Give me a second. I'll research that. Cause yeah, Othello reverse the same thing. All right, so I'm going to do a thing. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, so this is one of those sort of weird rules. Uh, looking at E9, if you want to highlight E9 for me on your e screen. E9. All right, so ordinarily I could not place there because it is a dead square to me. But because the placing there will free up a square. <laughs> ah, right. Bam. Captured there, yep. yep. Now, the one of the special rules is you cannot do the same move two times in a row. So I took that piece out of her, she cannot then place it back, even though it would accomplish the same task. Why are you to? There has to be a gap between the two. Yep. So that's one of those weird, like, sort of specialty rule there. Yeah, well, and it makes sense, because otherwise you would just get stuck in a loop. Right. Um, but I'm not even gonna mess with it. So we're gonna do that. And what that does is that connects all of my stones that are currently on the board together into one um, joint thing. So that they all now, they are all alive so long as, you know, they one has a liberty. So there's a, a thing called uh, making eyes where if, and um, we'll get closer to the edge of the board and we'll make an eye. Um, but I first want to do this. Um, so when, for a, um, a group of stones to be considered to be completely, oh, you're running away from me. Ha ha. So we're going to do. So now this group of stones only has, these two stones only have one liberty right there. And he's going to keep running. All right. Well, <laughs> got, got to keep running. You don't have to keep running. You could just. Oh, I do. <laughs> Oh, I do. You see something I don't see? Okay, well now you've got more more room because I'm not mm. here. Right. If a if a if a group of stones has, I think, two eyes, two in, you know, two different eyes, then it's considered alive and it, not killable, basically. Correct, because you would be putting yourself into a hole right. um, and not creating a hole at the same time. Right, yeah. but I want to show if we can show what an eye looks like. Um, if we can, not a first. Sure. If we can, think. yeah, I can build one. I got it. Just leave that side of the board alone. Nope. Oh, I mean, when you're making an eye, great. Yeah, I'll leave that alone. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> this other bit's mine though. I'll let you make an. Oh man. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. but see here. And this, when you talk to more experienced or we watch more experienced go players play, they wouldn't necessarily play this all out because they know, right. well, no, just eventually it's not going to work, you know. Um, uh, I think I, yeah, I think you've got that section because I can't. Can so I? these would be considered. These would be considered when we get to scoring. These would be considered dead stones, basically, right. because they're not doing anything. They're they're not serving any purpose. So, you know, get them out of the way. Yeah, I can still get out of it, but barely. All right, I'll let you have that side. Make your eye. Well, I messed it up, but it's fine. Maybe be close enough to it. Normally, an eye would be right on the edge of the right. board. Um, so, like these, this sort of uh, C shape that Cal's making um, pushed in one, and that would be considered an eye. So he's basically gonna you know no matter what i do to this i could cut off all of his other supply lines but as long as he has two one eye doesn't count i have, have two to be con considered uh independently alive so yeah i'll, I'll fix it in just a second you're fine i'm, I'll fine. Fix it, I'm sorry i'm sorry i did it bad <laughs> lord okay 
So we're going to do that. Uh, connected. each other down here. Dang it. Oh, so so Cal has blocked me from making an eye <laughs> by playing here. Um yep, yep. You saw oh man. Okay. Oh let's see. Yeah, capturing freeze the square instead of flipping control. Correct. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, so yeah, the reverse here, Othello, is it, the pieces never leave the board. They just change, change teams. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because you, like I said, you don't get points for the intersections that your stones are on. Right. You get points for the empty intersections that you are surrounding. Right. Um, so like right now, if we were to stop right now and score, um, I have H9, J9, J8, H8, G8 is is controlled by me. Those are those would be points for me. But see, like uh, A through C uh, seven, these three stones right here um, are dead stones. Right. So I don't get points for them, but I also don't get points for the that those intersections. I don't believe because there are stones on them. Correct. So the yes, I that putting those stones there means that I got these stones away from Cal, but it costs me those points. Right. Um, so it's you know it's a bunch of give and take. Okay. But then I would get all of this lovely down here, provided that Cal doesn't come invade. <laughs> Which and, I'm there's really not, and there's absolutely nothing that stops him right. from placing a stone in here, other than I'm right here. <laughs> So, and he knows I'm gonna get salty about it. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. This is one of the things I like about this is the the openness, so you can really place anywhere. There's no restrictions on placement. Exactly. Yeah, you don't have to be you know so far away from one of your other stones. Right. Um, I mean, there's absolutely nothing that stops me from placing a stone in here, other than it doesn't do me any good. Um, so. Oh, it, it does take points away from me. I mean, That's yeah, the only but it's also a dead. Yeah, it does take points away from you. Because you either have to leave it there and lose points for it, or I have to then push other stones around it to capture it, which then has me losing more points. Exactly. So let's see here. Uh... Get, get, get out of there. Go yeah. go elsewhere. <laughs> go elsewhere. We're doing this. We're doing uh -huh. this. Yeah, uh, we're doing that. Go elsewhere. I love that the big red tells me it's not your <laughs> turn. <sighs> let's see here. Okay, so so this is interesting. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it will actually let me play here because mm -hmm. technically that's a suicide. I can't play. I can't. That's you know. I I can't play that. I'm gonna just show. I'm pretty sure. Oh no! It did. Let me do it. Oh, because oh, the because the bottom one cleared. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, you know the last one. It wouldn't let me. Like if we were in a different spot of the map, I guess it wouldn't have let me do that. Um, yeah. You cheater. I'm not a cheater. Like, let me do it. <laughs> it's not cheating in Scrabble if the automatic dictionary thinks it's a word. <laughs> that's true. No, that's right. That's right. All right. Let's go do a thing. <gasps> Invasion. So you have three liberties here. Correct. So I'm going to go like that. Liberty, liberty, liberty. <laughs> Terrible. Absolutely. Remember that thing about wasting stones to prevent <laughs> what it's talked about? Okay, so see here, so the next move for Cal would be to place here mm -hmm. in order to threaten these stones from me and, and actually carve out a bit of territory from me, and I'm not going to let that happen. So rather than play here or play here, I'm going to go there. 
and prevent him from doing that. Okay, what's an autograph? Isaac, can you take your towel to the other room, please? Please. I need you to take your towel to the other room, please. I need to please. Oh, children are fun. Children are fun. <laughs> Mm. So this gets interesting. So the cool thing is, so b both my sets are have that back liberty in a one open, so mm -hmm. they're impossible to capture without dropping one in there, which would then suicide you. So it's, I've got that fairly well controlled in that corner. Yeah, that's your mind, man. Morris coming out right there. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Game that I'm also terrible at. Um, Speaking of Saturday, you want to throw that up on the? I think we're gonna throw that up on the symposium. Yeah, because <laughs> it's also in board game room. So, hey. oh, is it? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I am terrible at that game. So bad. Um, yeah, we're gonna go there. Yeah, that was a that was a good one. Well, I, I had to remember that I had this row up here. <laughs> yep. like, I was so hyper focused on this little area. And no, I got the whole row right. I have, those are mine too. I have plenty of room to move here. Well, no, not that, but that can use that. Like, you can't right. play here. Or you could, but why? why? Um, like it's so yeah. <sighs> Gracious me. Will it let me play here? Uh, you can give it a shot. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, because you, you got the bottom two balls out. Yep. See, this is why I'm bad at this game, because it's like, <laughs> I think I understand a thing, and then it just does that. Well, because I was remembering the whole, like, wait, no, but that would remove yeah. things. And so, no, I would have a freeze, so. Watch this. New, two new Go players struggle to understand <laughs> how things work. <laughs> It's like the this real world. Like, the computer setup is so great because it will tell you if the move is illegal and it will tell you. Um, yeah, it, it automatically tallies for you. So it's it's really helpful just growing out. And and with the app, you can do the whole like show me a hint thing and it'll suggest a move to you and be like, well, try this, you know, and it's usually like the best move. So, OK, so you have prevented me by putting this here from getting an eye. Correct. So, because even if I put a stone here, I can't capture you unless I put also a stone here. So I cannot make an eye there anymore. So that's a thing that exists. Um, you're going to beat me again, aren't you? That's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Although this, this game will be closer than the last one since we're using the Chinese counting not the Japanese counting. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, because you got all, all the points. The last time we played, we had it on the Japanese setting, which means that Cal got all the points for all the stones he took from me. <laughs> Although I have taken <laughs> several stones from you this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Mm. I am going to do that. Let's go, Otter friends. Uh, that, that's not a good <laughs> I know it was. I'm fully aware that your game said that. <laughs> oh, ow, ow, ow. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, sir. Mm -mm. Nope. What? Nope. Uh uh. You may not. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> All right, so that's contested squares. We're good there. You've solidly got that. Um, I will do that. Why? Just to make, you, to make you lose a point. Why? There you go. So the way I'm, the game ends is when there are absolutely no more moves left to be played, or um basically you have two passes in a row so you just agree yeah no we're done <laughs> so let's see here uh what are you doing what are you doing mm -hmm.
So there's actually a, another version of your eye there. Yep, because he, he, uh, Cal cannot play in here because if he does, it's his, it's an automatic. I get his stone, so the computer won't let him play in there. Um, so yeah, that is an eye, and actually, I have two eyes. <laughs> With that move, I have two. Yeah. Eyes. This entire block of stones cannot die. Yep. So I really know actually the grown up Scrabble, but I don't know how to play. Well, the okay. Well, we're not playing Scrabble, buddy, so it's okay. <laughs> so why are you saying Scrabble? Because I was making a joke. Um, that was a while ago, though. Um, Took it a second to sink in. Apparently. <laughs> Rude. I did that because right then I only had one point, but yep. by taking those two stones, I actually got another point because yep. I freed up two to Liberty. So. You think you're going to keep those two points? You're funny, but I—I I mean, I don't know. I won't lose them somewhere else because you're terrible. You're not terrible. You're really good at Go compared to me. <laughs> not take much. What? Why? It, no. Okay, but that's only one <laughs> eye, so I can still kill this. Uh huh. This game is dumb. He pointed out. Okay, so you're gonna drop stone in the middle. I'm gonna lose those two. So to prevent that, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't even place there. In the middle? Yeah, because no, it's, it's self capture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Self capture. I don't know if I can place there. I'm gonna try and see what happens. Um, but you I don't can know because E3 and D2 will pick up. Mm -hmm. And give then give you which then gives you liberties. And actually, I actually know it's going to cut off my that that three the the C four three D four. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's going to cut that whole section out. Mm -hmm. Well, which I'm not actually allow placement, but we'll see if it'll let me. Yeah, but you got to go. First. I'm working on it. <laughs> what? Why? What? You'll see. I have a plan. Are you going to take my cornerstone? You can't do that. Huh? What? 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 I don't know. Can't get it there. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I wonder. Yeah, okay. That's right. Because yeah. you're not connected to the diagonal. That's yeah. right. To remind myself of rules. Um... Okay, so this, I, I no longer had those two points, as Cal predicted, because he stole them from, yeah, no, I'm bad at this. You don't have to gloat. <laughs> the very important distinction between being able to do something and being able to do something well. It's true. <laughs> I know how to do it. I'm just not good. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Actually, what I think I'm going to do Okay. I can't place A8 because you just took that. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see here. Where did you go? I didn't even see that. Where did C3. You go? It's lit up. Oh, I get yeah. it. Okay. It's hard to see the red. It's such a dark red. It's, hard to uh, see. Yeah. it's around the black. Okay. 
I'm just making me use me. Chopping up my territory. Oh, no, y'all, what you got? Oh, no. So it did, did reduce my points. So. Uh-huh. Good. Did <laughs> We're nearing the end, folks. We really are. Um, this is both exciting and like, like watching paint dry at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, two not quite middle aged people playing. Um, I, I appreciate the not quite middle aged on that. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't consider thirty middle aged. I don't either. Um, I, just a, I just had a birthday too, and it hurt. Hey, congrats, though. I was uh, I was older than I thought I was. I heard the number. <laughs> That's painful. I like it. See, that's the thing is I'm looking at these places and it's like, yeah, I could like, cause this, this, okay. So J1, for example, nobody, neither of us controls that. Right. Neither of us. So no, no, you do, you, you have control of that. You have control of that? Oh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. 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 My bad. Um, what's another example? Uh, the, um, A3 is one that we're neither of us control. Uh, yeah, right there as well. Yeah. Yeah. A, A, well, yeah, A A three neither of us controls that, yeah. um, and it would take a lot of work to control it. Um, right. So you end up placing a stone there. As well, you have, the trade off would be, yeah, I could do that. I, I would think you should. I mean, I could though, because <laughs> you can't you can't place here because that cuts off your two stones. You can't. Correct. Place. So, um, and I actually get a point trade off there. So. Because that gives me three, three things. Oh, what are you doing? What are you? Did you set that up all on the slide and I didn't even notice it? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, you're, 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 I am not a Trixie Trixie Norseman. Nope, not me. <laughs> Something uh, about don't get involved in land wars in Asia. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, sure. I'm not a go player. I will say it all day long. Not good at this game. Um, okay, so if you could do it again, I don't think you can because you're not, you could go here, but that's not going to get you anything, right? Yeah, I think you're done on that run. You did get yourself two little points there, though. Congratulations! Yeah. Two little points. Uh... I think it's saying that I have two stones left. I'm yeah. trying to remember what that is. Okay. Yep. How do you have 19 stones left? Because you've captured a lot of mine. And it, oh. so, and it just kicks back to me, I guess. I don't oh, know. No, I don't think it does because that's what the 23 oh. is. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, the number of stones, I never could figure out why certain numbers of stones mattered. Yeah. And the number of stones um, that you, I mean, I just have enough stones to play go like physical stones um but obviously you use more stones on a 13 by 13 or a 99 19 by 19 board than you do on a uh a nine by nine so 
right, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna say treasonous. You passed. Okay. Well. Because there is, from what what I'm seeing, yeah, there there's there was no really good advantageous spot for me to place. Okay. Um, and I think I'm in the same spot. So. I think I think I am also now in that spot, but yeah, I was. I if I look at A2, B2, or B1, C1. I mean, you could go there, but. It's just going to end up giving you more stones. It's not going to do me any good. Yeah. Um, because I can't. I mean, I have one. Spot, stone I mean. Anyway. So, I mean, honestly, like you could do that. And then I, I would have to play. I could play a stone there to eat your stone up. But. <laughs> sure. Okay. sure. Yeah, no. okay. But then I'm out of stones, <laughs> presumably. Yeah. All right. So theoretically, I have stones to play now. So as long as I can fill holes, so let's figure no, out. What I can't do. play. So you have one more turn, and then I have to pass. Right, but then we have to we have to pass consecutively. So I get to keep playing, right? Yes, I mean, as, I don't, long, as long as I can physically play, which I don't oh, think I can. Disagree play. that the game is over. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I can't place anything that would be advantageous because everything you've got controlled, you have controlled solidly with no extra routes. That was the last spot, actually. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. out. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I am also going to pass, and it's going to say, are you sure you want to pass? Yes, I'm sure. Pass. And so now we have to designate, or Cal is going to designate dead stones. So, these are stones that, um, hold on. Let me actually look up the definition yeah. of a dead stone. So, like, the one you just captured of mine would have been, would have been considered a dead stone. Um, I don't think we have any dead stones left. Um, no, I think, I think A1 is dead. It's not connected to anything else. So dead stones are stones that don't have the slightest chance of escaping from enemy territory. Uh, both players, like they may have liberties, but. Right. But that's enemy territory. You're not in enemy territory. Right. A1 is not in enemy territory or A9 rather. I'm also not connected to anything though. Right. So that, but, it has, but it has liberties and it's not surrounded by me. Okay. That's fair. That would be why I would say so. So, like, if you had one, for instance, on uh, J six, J six, okay, yeah, that, that would, would be considered a dead stone for you if it was on J six, okay, because even okay. though it has a liberty, it's behind my line. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna say no dead stones. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to agree that there are no dead stones. Um. And then it's going to be like, squares that you, you were there and now gone. Or here, here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I won a game! You did. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Board Game Arena loves giving you trophies. So Bye. all of these little squares that you see, those are the intersections that count uh, for the given color. And like we said before, this was neutral territory. Nobody, nobody controlled that. So um, you can see how all of that how all of the territory lines were were drawn there. Um, so yeah. And it did give you points for capture stones. Well. Huh? I said it did give you points for capture stones as well. It did? Yeah. I think it did. Which no, so that that's it. even if it hadn't though, I think I have more territory than you do. You did. Well no, and you should get the points for that because ordinarily they're they're actually counted as negative points for yeah. me, yeah. which is easier to count them as positive points for you. In a counting situation, in my opinion. So the ones I've noticed is it'll take them to actually fill in the squares on the board right. as negative points, and then you just count what's ever left over as your score. Right. That, that's a faster way, in my opinion, to count, which I'm sure probably what it's doing. I mean, it's um, it's a computer, so it doesn't need to do that. But. It's doing math because it's a computer and it can do math. Right. So yeah. Um, so we have ten minutes until the end of class. Does anybody have any questions? Any thoughts? I'm going to um, I'm gonna real quick find. I don't know where my phone is. I think it's in the other room. Um, that app that I can post on the Facebook event. Yeah, it's just called Go Free. Um, and I don't know. I'm sure that there's probably an Apple equivalent. Cal, do you have an iPhone or do you have a? I do have an iPhone. Oh, I'll search for that. See if there's an app, <laughs> a free one, presume, you know, uh, preferably that people can, there is, I know there's a Windows, um, yep. like application.
that you can there get. There are two different free ones. Just search Go in the App Store and they'll, yeah. they'll pop up. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to have bragged too early, Cal? <laughs> in Cal's defense, when we played earlier, he did beat me soundly. <laughs> like, it was not even a con. Like, I just. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to make you look, look, look bad in your own class. Oh, uh, don't, even, don't even be like that. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right. I was well, prepared to, so. <laughs> any, any closing comments from you? Closing um, thoughts? Yeah. Um, go with fun. Like I said, I am by no means an expert. Um, I am sure that I could have done a lot better in that game, even though it did turn out for the best for me. Um, it's a really great game. It's, again, uh, one of, if not, the the oldest one of the oldest games that has been continuously played uh throughout human civilization and our history so i uh, highly encourage you to check it out it's a lot of fun it is a brain teaser <laughs> in a lot of ways um which is which is cool um so yeah um i almost oh if i have a tent set up like a pavilion set up in an event i try to have my go board with me um it is a little i mean it's not you know light it's, I mean, it's a, to carry around um it's you gotta put it have a little as a box um so it's not like and i say that because it's not like the nine man moors or yeah the what's really the rolls of leather <laughs> you can just boop out and hear stones it's a little bit more than that um but i do always try to have it with me so when we go to events again if you like in the year 2030 <laughs> no no don't say that <laughs> um you know, bug me and say, hey, oh young, I want to beat you at Go. And I'll be like, cool, let's do it. <laughs> you can totally beat me at Go. Because um, I have small kids, not enough time to practice. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, but like I said, there's a big difference between knowing how to do something and being skilled at it. So even if you don't intend to put all the time and effort into getting really good at it, still play. It's fun. Um, so, yeah. There you go. And so coming up, we have. Uh, yes, you can, sorry, Susan, yes, you can play the computer. I don't know if you can do it on Board Game Arena. You can do it on the apps and whatnot, though. Um, so, yes, that's possible. Not necessarily and, through this, but through other means. So, yeah. And it does have some tutorials up in there as well. Um, it doesn't actually have a tutorial, but it does have like rules and it will show you things and won't let you do illegal stuff. So that, that helps out. You can play Strangers too if you really want to. Yep. <laughs> I actually enjoy. I had fun earlier playing French Terror. That was actually a lot of just random people, and it was like they were like trash talking in different languages, even in the, in the yeah. chat. That was kind of fun. So, oh, wow. I assume, and some of it was French, oddly enough. So, anyways, so, yeah. um, so coming up, you have another class tomorrow. You're doing. Um, uh, I'm calling it a class. <laughs> it's a drinking so, game. So, um, the same handout that I have for this class for Go is part of a larger handout on Kong Dynasty games. Um, so, in that handout are uh, go double sixes, which is like backgammon, um, pitch pot, and what's called the wine rules or goblet authority, um, and which Cal has in here as Analex. So um, on Saturday night, we are doing Analex, which is wine rules, which is <laughs> basically a card game, kind of, um, that involves drinking <laughs> uh, and poetry. It's drinking and poetry, which pretty much sums up the Tom Dynasty. That's right. It's one of my favorite things. I like it. <laughs> um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. That is garb optional. If you would like to join us, um, that will be um, probably done via Zoom. So yeah. we can see everybody. Um, and, and we will not be recording it, so don't be not be recording. Be drinking. It's really <laughs> we'll be drinking. Yeah. Um, although we will try to be on our best behavior, including drinking. Okay. <laughs> so, and then Sunday afternoon i think i think it's at one, uh, one, one o'clock yeah. yeah we're gonna play pitch pot which is a game of skill in the sense of physical skill um where you literally are throwing arrows into a wine pot because tom dynasty um, <laughs> but i have i have stuff and we're gonna go to my backyard and hopefully it won't be raining and throw arrows at stuff it's gonna it's gonna be because what else you need in life there's technically drinking involved in that one too um, because when you lose, you have to drink. <laughs> so it's like wine plus lawn darts. What, what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you join us for that and all of the other awesome games that are happening uh, during the symposium. Thank you again, Cal, for being on and organizing this. This has been a lot of fun.
Sure thing. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. This has been Cal Barger and Ouyang in Cal Barger's Corner. Have a Hi. great day, guys.